In this training mission, we will cover the primary shipboard procedures for the AV-8B Harrier, including short takeoff and case one recovery. As you can see, we are starting in a cold aircraft, as the first thing we are going to do is the INSC alignment used on the boat. Go ahead and proceed with the startup and halt when your engine is running and you would normally conduct the INS alignment. Be sure to ask for the ground power as deck crew will also connect the deck cable used to communicate with a ship internal navigation system, or SINs. Enter your EHSD page on the left MPCD.
now select data with push button 2 and then AC with push button 16. And enter your current latitude followed by the enter button. Now press ODU button 1 and enter your longitude. When ready, press enter. Okay, verify that the parking brake is on and place the INS knob in C position. Chief, turn on the ground power. Copy. Ground power is now on. On the ODU, you should see a couple of new options. Deck, which is currently colonized, tells you that the deck cable is connected. COM1 and COM2 are used if the cable is not available, in which case you can use your onboard radios to communicate with the ship's own INS. On the MPCD, you have the standard information, qual not OK, and the timer counting up below it. The whole alignment process should take around 3 minutes. You may place the INS mode selector knob to nav at any time after the alignment quality number drops below 3.0. When OK is displayed, you may place the INS mode selector knob in NAV or IFA. Normally, once you are aligned on the deck, the deck crew will display a tote board containing the following information. Type of takeoff, distance from nozzle rotation line, required trim, nozzle setting, wet or dry takeoff, and your aircraft's weight. For this takeoff, the information should look like this. Please note it down. Now complete normal takeoff checks. Make sure to turn anti-skid off, select radar altimeter, and set the stow stop lever to correct position. Remember to switch NAV to IFA once the alignment has completed. Time for one finger check. You don't need to set the NRAS as you will rotate the nozzles at the rotation line. Check the pitch carrots and set the stabilizer trim to the briefed value.
Good, now time for a two-finger acceleration check. Bring the engine to 60%, check that the acceleration time is within the limits, place nozzles at stow stop and conduct duct pressure, nozzles, and flap checks. When satisfied, place the nozzles back at 10 degrees. You are now ready for the short takeoff. The procedure is very similar to the short base version with a main difference. You rotate the nozzles when your front wheel is on the nozzle rotation line at the front of the ship. A small forward stick check may be required to stop the pitch rate and maintain an attitude between the pitch carrots and five degree pitch bar. Don't pull the nose off the deck. Transition into a wingboard flight in an accelerating transition. Turn left 10 degrees and continue straight for 5 nautical miles, keeping below 500 feet AGL. Once there, turn to waypoint 1 and climb out to 3,000 feet. Once you get to waypoint 1, anchor there. Since it is pretty far away, once you get to 3,000 feet, engage the AFC and we will go through the basics on the way. Don't forget to switch into the nav mode. So for the recovery, we will cover the initial contact, delta and marshal pattern, and then the case 1 recovery itself. First, some terminology that will be useful for this lesson. Mother is your parent vessel. Father is her take-in. Charlie is the time at which you should be crossing the deck edge during recovery. When coming back to the ship after a mission, you will first contact air traffic control and state your position with regard to father, altitude, lowest fuel state, and any remaining ordnance. The Amphibious Air Traffic Control Center, or ATCA, will get back to you with the following information. Delta or Marshall instructions. Altimeter setting. Wind. Weather. BRC. Clearance to enter control area and any other important information. Open your kneeboard on the Delta page. Delta is a standard VFR pattern overhead the ship with left-hand turns used for Case 1 operations. While flying it, you should remain within 5 DME of the boat. Now, 
DME is another important term you should understand. It stands for Distance Measuring Equipment. For ship recoveries, it will be TAKEN, or FATHER. So, whenever you are told to stay within a certain number of miles DME, or XDME, it means that the distance from the TAKEN shown on the EHSD page cannot be greater than that number. Good. Switch the kneeboard to Marshall page. Marshall is your holding point while waiting for clearance to land. There are two types of TAKEN Marshall primary and overhead. We will cover the first one as it will be the most commonly used. As a rule, TACAN primary marshal will be oriented on the 180 bearing relative to the base recovery course, or BRC, at a distance of one nautical mile for every thousand feet of altitude, plus 15, with the base altitude being no less than Angel 6. The base recovery course is the course of the boat. You will want to set it up using your course setting knob with the ship's take hand selected on EHSD page. I know it sounds complicated at first, but you should get a hang of all that pretty quickly. If you find yourself in trouble, take some time to study the instructions in your kneeboard. So, coming back to the marshal, let's say you are told to hold that Angels 8 BRC 060. That means that your holding pattern will be at the 240 radial at a distance of 23 miles. The legs during the hold should not exceed 10 miles. Okay, continue to waypoint 1 and anchor there.
Good, so now you have the basics. Let's move on. You will set up your take in, fly toward Mother, and enter the control area. I will give you instructions from Control and the specific Marshal. Once you get there, we'll move on to the next stage, the landing pattern. Set up your take in and turn toward Mother. When you get to within 50 miles, I will give you instructions from Control. Dodge 1 1, Control, Marshall at Angel 6, BRC 351, CAVOC, altimeter 29.88, clear to enter control area. Normally, you would read back that information and then proceed to the indicated Marshall point. For this mission to make things easier, we have one of the destroyers following Mother in trail 21 nautical miles behind.
Very good, you are in the Marshall area. Anchor here and let's cover the landing itself. You will either be cleared to leave Marshall by control, or you will have to judge the timing yourself in order to make it for the assigned Charlie time. When departing, you should be at 250 knots indicated airspeed with a rate of descent between 4 to 6,000 feet per minute. You will report to center that you are commencing and give your current altimeter setting. When you get to 5,000 feet, you should reduce the rate of descent and aim to arrive at the gate at 1,200 feet. Gate is always located 12 DME on the BRC. Next step is initial, located 3 nautical miles astern at 800 feet. From there, you will enter the break. The break is performed flying up the starboard side of the ship. You begin a level break to the left 10 seconds after you pass the bow of the ship. When on the downward leg, you will descend to 600 feet and perform standard landing checks, including switching the anti-skid and external lights to off. You should be 0.8 to 1 nautical mile from mother. When arriving a beam, which is at the line of the stern of the ship, the following checks should be completed. Set nozzles to between 50 and 60 degrees, make a beam call, and turn toward the groove. The moment of the turn depends on the wind speed. If it is greater than 20 knots, turn prior to arriving beam. If it is between 10 and 20 knots, turn when arriving a beam. If it is less, delay the turn for 2 to 4 seconds. The turn should be an instrument type turn with 20 to 25 degrees angle of bank to arrive at the 90 at 400 to 450 feet with the AOA between 10 and 12 units. You should enter the groove at around 300 to 350 feet, being between 0.5 and 0.75 nautical miles behind the ship. Keep 3 degrees glide slope, set the nozzles to hover stop, and fly toward the offset point on the port side of the ship, about one plane width from the edge of the ship. When cleared to land, you will cross over to the designated landing position and perform a vertical landing. Bear in mind that the ship is moving with a constant speed. Upon touchdown, reduce the power to idle, apply the brakes, select nozzles aft, and set the water switch to off if used. Alright, if you're ready, let's do it. If you haven't done so already, make sure that your take hand is selected by pressing push button 5 on the EHSD page. Now set up the BRC using the course select knob. BRC is 351 magnetic. Align your jet with the course line, exit the marshal at 250 knots indicated airspeed, and begin your descent. Aim to arrive at the gate is 12 DME at the radar altitude of 1,200 feet.
You are at the gate. Continue flying towards initial, which is three miles astern. You should be at 800 feet when you get there. Very good. For the brake, you will want to be on the starboard, or right, side of the ship. Begin your brake to the left 10 seconds after you pass the bow. On downwind, descend to 600 feet with 10 to 12 units AOA and perform landing checks. When a beam set nozzles to 50 to 60 degrees, then make an instrument type 20 to 25 degree turn to the groove.
Arrive at the groove at 300 to 325 feet. Nozzles to hover stop. Keep a 3 degree glide slope. Establish yourself one plane width from the landing spot at 120 feet. Ready and in steady hover, pass over the deck and land. You are on the deck. Reduce power to idle, apply the brakes, select nozzles aft and water switch off if used. Very good. Boat landings require a lot of practice. For that, you can use shorter versions of this mission available under the training tab. Now, have you ever thought about the terms used by the Navy? Mother, father, paddles, starboard, port, deck, overhead, ladder, hatch, knee knocker, porthole, slider, ink stick. Even serious things like intercept vector is called a bra call. This sounds like some kind of game played in college, not directing fighters that cost millions of dollars each. <laughs> 